How to use Melodyne plugin in Cubase 7.5 to quantize voice recording time. So first, I open the Cubase project. I have a couple projects. The one I'm going to show you, uh, for example, is uh, the project I have uh, currently working on, uh, Psalm 93. And uh, I'm going to open this project, CPR, the Cubase project. It might be take a minute to load everything, especially you have many, many soundtrack still loading but you won't see the wet message in the background well as I say it might take a couple minutes a uh, one a minute or two too low so it's normal it depends on how many channel you have you see I loading channel mix console inside I have lots of channel that's why it's still loading then okay all right so this is psalm, psalm 93 and uh, the problem is the beginning actually has something the voice is something that not, not timing very well I particularly do not like very much of the uh, beginning uh, from 3 to 5 here. It sounds a little bit uh, weird. Um, this is my main voice. Okay, I record. So how I do is I normally use a, uh, a Melodyne plugin with uh, Cubase 7.5. It's very helpful. Um, so in the Melodyne, I actually do what I do normally if I see something recording instead of re-record okay I will just modify a little bit and here I actually press control key and using the mouse wheel and to make it larger or bigger uh, uh, smaller or bigger and of course uh, <coughs> you can also use in the uh, melody they also have the small bigger function all right is keep somewhere. Um, I know we're using the mouse wheel. All right. So the beginning is like this. Okay. Here you can see the voice only. Okay. So uh, well, if you just curious, this is in Chinese. So um, so it that doesn't sound like English. Apologize, right? Eh? Okay. So. Uh, from beginning to, I think I make it bigger. Uh, from 40, actually it's not from 40. Beginning, okay. From, I think from three to five. Here, just. Zuo Wang. It's around three and four. I think I not very satisfied. Uh, I want to actually to redo that. Uh, all you have to do is uh to actually uh, highlight the one you want to change uh, that's very easy and uh, uh, you can highlight everything the multiple uh, section but uh, I'm just going to highlight this part okay sometimes I do this change I don't really change everything like uh, control all control A to highlight everything like this and just do modification no because uh, some part it, it was good but you doing modification it would it would change it will over modify become bad you, so you want to only modify the one you want to you want to change so maybe three and four that's the most uh, uh, for this case uh, I can just do I can do two to five you know but three and four that should be fine so I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to make the three and four uh, three and f uh, five here to kind of repeat the reason I do that because I can actually see in the back uh, uh, here in the background, you can repeat. And repeat again. Okay, it just. All you have to do just uh, I was doing was just double click and drag to a right. Okay, so right now I have a couple options. Correct pitch, you know, it pretty much already uh, correct. Uh, is a C major. You can snap to a C major if you want to. Uh, actually, I do not do that uh, because. Uh, I, I'm very sure my current my pitch is okay, but just just for the demonstration purposes, you click this one, okay, 
you see nothing changed too much okay because really already accurate and you can move this one back and forth you can see a little bit a little bit moving over here you can see here a little bit a little bit okay it doesn't really make too much um uh, difference but if you if you want to you can actually uh, check that uh, practice you know playing around and see what's the benefit but today's session is not about this because the pitch and the pitch uh, correct pitch is pretty much okay for this one uh, I can hear you can use your ear to hear that so pretty much fine so what I'm trying to do is quant uh, quantize time the time I'm trying to talk about here because the time seems a little bit not so fit in very well and uh, you can choose uh, in this case in choose time going to the one force but I choose now because it give me more flexibility so I'm going to do is choose uh, choose a little bit intensity just kind of um, move it a little bit and uh, I'm not going to do a uh, lot of you know kind of big Hum big change and something like that just gonna move a little bit and see how it goes and uh, at the same time play so I'm going to play in the background okay same time to I change to the all the way to the right see now this one is not good this probably is good see entire thing I got a special just uh just through here. This one still kind of be just a little bit. Maybe more intensity. Okay, listen everything. Okay, and also this sound a little bit uh, too loud. So I using the uh, MD2 uh, tool here. Just it can just actually make the sound. It's a sound tool. It's make it lower or higher, lower, higher. So kind of make it a little bit lower. So so maybe it sounds good. Sounds better than before. Okay, so I have another one actually uh somewhere over here. Uh it maybe have to adjust it too. Yeah, this one actually a little bit off. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this part. Okay, this part also has to be problem. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, let's cancel first. Let's actually make the loop. Uh, loop actually starting from here. Okay, to maybe here. It's to here. Okay, let's put in the loop. The tie is a little bit hesitant. Much better. Yeah, eighty percent is good. Normally, I won't do the one hundred percent. It's some kind of just feel weird. And same thing, you know, I'm gonna actually make this a uh, oh, little bit lower, not too high. If you want, you can actually this one actually intensity a little bit uh, uh, low or high power. For example, this one's actually intensity. You can make it a little bit higher. Uh, 
make the sound a little bit lower, like older, and this is sound make it sound more younger. And you want to make it sound more younger, maybe lift up a little bit, make it younger sound, sound more like younger sound, younger. Yeah, that sounds sounds better. Yeah, because I don't want this word to sound like that very old. Okay. Yeah. So this this one's good. Okay. So I'm going to actually change that to on the first part here. Okay. This is actually. actually this is kind of sounds old. Sounds more younger here. Yeah. See, sounds more younger. The kind of be overdo. Okay. Not so nature. You want to actually. Make it also natural. You don't want to doing something like computer generated. Okay, so that's how I do. <coughs> and there are also other, other tools I will show you uh, some other time. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, how to actually adjust the uh, uh, quant quant quantized type in the Melodyne plugin in the Cubase 7.5. Thank you so much for watching. You have a very blessed day. Bye bye.